Q&A time! Hey everyone! So I asked for your questions on Instagram because I want to do a Kayla and Cena's Q&A and answer everything that you guys are curious about and this is going to be awesome because I love Q&As and we're just gonna go um... Flag Brother Riot wants to know basically like what is Kayla's whole product. So originally Kayla only had ebooks. Basically with ebooks you purchase it on her website, it gets emailed to you, it's a PDF, but with the ebook I just like downloaded it on my phone and I took it with me wherever I went and now she has an app which you can download and that's where you get I believe 3.0. And then she also has nutrition guides that are in ebook form. I never purchased them or used them so I don't really know what to say about those. And to answer your last question, she does have a bundle on her website. I believe you get the 1.0 and the nutrition guide together. If you want to check out any of her guides, I do have links down below along with a discount code to save you some money. Jasmine's Living Balanced wants to know what's your favorite thing about the program. My favorite thing about the program is that when I started BBG 1.0 two years ago, I didn't know what I was doing in the gym or how to live a healthy lifestyle. I was very lost and confused. I was doing a lot of things wrong. I had no knowledge about fitness or nutrition. And so, I mean, I wasn't even YouTubing about fitness until I started Kayla's guides. So my favorite thing is that it taught me what to do, what not to do, and it also like, it made me confident in my body. I've never been this fit or this strong or confident. Okay, Sap asks, should I really be pushing myself to do the exercises perfectly or should I, can I modify them? I would say that within those seven minutes you're doing that circuit, do as many exercises as you possibly can. Everybody's fitness level is different. So as long as you are pushing yourself to do what you can, you are good. Okay, Sap also asks, how many laps do you typically go through in a circuit. So in each circuit I usually do two rounds of the exercises and then usually like the last circuit I only get one and a half way through because everything just stops working. The dumbbell, oh it's such a cute name, and she asks did you ever take a week off and how did you cope with that? The only time I took a couple weeks off was when I finished 1.0 and I was transitioning into 2.0. I kind of like, I don't know, was trying to decide whether I should just do it over again or purchase 2.0. So in between that, I, yeah, I took a little break and it was fine. I think my body needed a break after everything I just put it through. My Journey Home wants to know, when repeating the guides, what do you recommend? Should you keep doing increased lists and add some hit or should you aim to go through the circuits two or three times. Basically, she just wants to know how do you continue seeing progress so that you don't plateau. So if you're going to be continuing Kayla's guides, I would say increase the amount of weights that you are lifting. Sometimes you need dumbbells. So if you were using 10 pound dumbbells, maybe go up to 12, 15, and so on. That way you are increasing your muscle strength. Over time, you will notice that your body is getting stronger and you're gonna be able to do more of the exercises in each circuit. So I would still like focus on your form and doing the exercises right. But yeah, if you can do more rounds in each circuit, then that is great. And then for hit and list, if your goal is to continue burning fat and leaning out, then you have to increase the amount of time you are doing your cardio. Because your body adjusted to all the cardio you just completed in 12 weeks, your endurance, like everything's a routine. And so in order to avoid plateauing and not seeing progress. If you increase your cardio, it's working overtime, it's burning more calories, burning more fat, and that is how that all works. And that's why when people are maintaining or bulking, they cut out all cardio or do very little because when they start leaning out, they don't want to be on the treadmill for 50 minutes they just want to go on for 10 to 15 and their body hasn't been doing it for weeks so it's like okay like let's start burning all these extra calories that you've been eating and all this fat that you have you know added on to your body to build more muscle and so for me when i repeated kayla's guys i instead of doing lists twice a week i did hit twice a week and lists just once and I started upping the time and the speed and all that fun stuff. That girl that works out, you guys seriously have the cutest names. Anyway, she asks, what's your best advice for someone who is repeating the guides but doesn't want to burn out or get bored of the same workouts again and again and again and again? So I was 
like the same where you kind of are a year ago. That's why I stopped doing Kayla's Guides and just started lifting because it was something new and exciting and I was really into it. And then I got bored of that and now I'm back doing uh, Kayla's Guides. So to answer your question, if you are getting kind of bored of Kayla's workouts, maybe only do her workouts, you know, twice a week instead of three or four times and switch things up. Go to yoga classes, go to kickboxing class. Like you can customize Kayla's Guides however you want. Pineapple Punches, which I love your name. It's so cute. I want it. She wants to know what do you do for your warm ups before the resistance session? So, what I do for a warm up is sometimes if I'm feeling fancy, I'll go do like five minute run on the treadmill. That does not happen often, but I always do a stretch before I do resistance training. So if I'm training arms, I am doing those arm stretches. If I'm training legs, I am all like on the ground doing different yoga poses. And for abs, I just like stretch like this. And uh, then I start training. Miss Roden asks, if you miss a workout or two during a week, should you restart the week or move on? That is really up to the individual. Me being the way I am, I would probably start the week over again. But I mean, if you wanna just move on, then you are more than welcome to. Really with Kale's Guides, there are rules, but there are no rules. You can modify it to your lifestyle and do whatever you want. I am so sorry if I totally butcher your name. Adaris? Adaris? Adiris, I really hope I got that right. She asked, what is your motivation to do workout? My motivation is just like, I love working out. If I, even when it's rest day, I go crazy. I'm like, I need to like move. I need to sweat. I need to do something. Like I just personally love it. And so it's never really like a struggle to go to the gym, except when it's in the morning and I need food first. She also wants to know how I organize my day. Honestly, I need to work on organizing my day. Um, uh, I stopped writing lists and things down and I'm becoming very forgetful. So uh, I need to work on that. Like I would also love to organize my day to where I get my workout done early in the morning, but uh, I still go late at night and I just need to, I need to make some changes. There's also some questions from my last Kayla video that I need to answer. Constance Lovejoy asks, what is your height? I'm five foot six. Have you measured your body fat percentage? No, I haven't, but I'm really curious of what it is. What's your ultimate goal in all of this? I just want to be happy with me and my body and I want to be confident and strong. Lastly, she wants to know why vegan and did it help you see progress quicker? I chose to go vegan because I did a lot of research and I just don't care to eat meat anymore. And then it has helped me with my progress because I started eating more clean, which I think truly helps you achieve whatever goals you have. I cut out all processed sugars and foods and chemicals and it's just transformed my body and my health. So I definitely recommend looking into it. It's not for everybody, but it has worked for me. This is definitely an important question in my opinion. Nat Dansfee asks, what do you recommend for lifts and hit alternatives instead of using the treadmill. I love doing lifts on the Stairmaster, but if you don't have access to any cardio machines, then you can definitely get creative by running outside or running stairs or bleachers, maybe jump rope. That's something you can do in your house. I'm going to end this Q&A with her last question, which is what advice do you have for beginners starting 1.0? My biggest piece of advice is to read a kill's guide from back to front. There is so much helpful information in there that is going to explain everything. She even has a glossary in the back of each guide that breaks down every single exercise. I mean, there was some that threw me off and I didn't know what I was doing, but it taught me the correct form so I didn't get injured. And then also she shares how you can do each exercise at home if you don't have equipment or gym membership. And then for those of you who are going to be starting Kayla's Guides, just be patient. Progress takes time and it's not going to happen overnight. And then also just like do it for the right reason and love yourself and enjoy the process. And that is all for this Q&A. It was so much fun. I wish I would have done a Kayla Tina's Q&A a long time ago because I think it's well overdue. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If there's any questions still lingering, make sure to comment down below and I will answer them. I will see all of you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye loves.